Welcome to the NatFL channel. There isn't exactly a Kelly Blue Book that says how much the Houston Texans should get in return for trading Deshaun Watson, mainly because no other NFL team has ever entertained the idea of trading their franchise quarterback in the advent of his prime. However, that is where the Texans find themselves. Of course, giving up Watson would require a fleet load of treasures and it would actually make the team the three-time pro bowler is going to perpetually unable to surround him with better talent because of the haul it took to acquire him. What is the best deal for Watson and the Texans? The Jets trading both of their 2021 first-round picks, number 2 and number 23 overall, a 2021 second-round pick, and a 2022 first-round pick for Watson is the fair price for adding a franchise quarterback. The Texans would surrender $21.6 million in dead money, and they would also lose $5.66 million in salary cap space. New York would take on Watson's five-year, $146,540,000 contract with an average per year of $29.3 million. This mega-blockbuster deal with the potential to be the biggest trade in NFL history has lost some steam as the Texans remain adamant they will not be trading Watson. But at a certain point, they don't really have a choice. Houston let all trade value evaporate for Jadeveon Clowney back in 2019, and the franchise just cannot make the same mistake again. If there's one thing new general manager Nick Casario hopefully learned under Bill Belichick, it's how to maximize value in trades. Nevertheless, Casario would be making the toughest first major decision ever for a general manager. His entire tenure would be judged by the fallout from moving a 25-year-old, top-five quarterback with five years remaining on his extension signed in 2020. Watson's 92.5 overall grade in 2020 made him PFF's third-highest graded quarterback, and this was in the worst situation in the NFL from an organizational standpoint. PFF's Seth Galina even argued recently that Watson was the best quarterback in the NFL in 2020. Watson finished fifth in the NFL with 42 big-time throws, and his 8.7 yards per attempt led the league. The potential fear from Watson's perspective is that the Jets giving up this much draft capital could lead to New York being in the same position as Houston is currently, with not much talent to speak of outside of their new quarterback. However, even parting with this monster haul, the Jets would still have 2022 first and second round picks to work with. Houston would have double first-round picks for the next two drafts, which should be enough compensation to try to recover quickly from the bungling of their relationship with Watson. Additionally, the Jets could get right back to building around Watson in the second round of 2022, New York would eventually be able to catch up over the course of his contract to build a contender around him.